madman Munz sounds like like a crazy man, of course. And he was far from it. He was so um, bright. He made more money and lost more money than any human being on the face of the earth. I, my dad was very instrumental in developing that crazy personality. I found all this out a year and a half later. I didn't know at the time that I'm talking to someone who says, send me all the bills, didn't have a dime. But it worked out so beautifully. Within 48 or 72 hours, months was, had become a, an entity here in Southern California. There were billboards along the highways, madman months, all over. He became really a, a, a celebrity celebrity. Hollywood tours and things that people would go on uh, they used to drive by the Muntz car lots and, and point them out. Yeah, Madman Muntz, you know, if you're lucky, he'll come out and wave to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're considering television, buying or trading, think a moment. What set in all America costs so little, works so well. Thank you. Now, people often said that the Muntz television was probably the finest made television set there was. Yeah, we plugged this AC set in there and it blew everything up and the smoke was coming out of the room. He's the man who invented the word, well, there's no word, TV. He was also very much noted for a car. He liked it so much that he bought the car, he bought the factory, he, he bought everything. Which he designed way before its time. The design of that beautiful little car was so far ahead. My brothers and I says, how are you going to compete with Ford and General Motors and Chrysler? He says, well, you know me, I'll try. One of the more outrageous things that Muntz offered in the automobiles was a, a liquor bar in the rear armrest. Dad said, well, we'll do it for a gag, and we'll put seat belts in these cars because that's why they're called a Munch Jet. They were so quick. Dad was the first one that had taken stereo and made this monaural mood master into a stereophonic thing. Dad had installed one of these in a car, ended up to be the first car stereo. Anybody seeing where the handwriting was on the wall, this was going to be the one of the wildest businesses of all times. And Dad says, you ought to get gals in here and do more gals. And I says, okay, that's fine with me. I'll put all the gals you want in here, Dad. He really was a, a lady killer. Dad was married seven times. There's Mickey, my third wife. No, my second wife. I get mixed up. I can remember having dinner with him with celebrities, as well as his former wives and their uh, current husbands. And it was very interesting because the man had such a charm and personality about him that all of his ex-wives just adored him. And they became best friends, and he became best friends with their current husbands. Years after the factory closed, car collectors began restoring Munts jets to their former glory. We've had people follow us 150 miles and pull in a gas station just to ask us about the car. We took one long trip, only one. <laughs> he was every bit as nutty as we thought he was going to be. I mean. Earl was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Earl Muntz was a man that could sell a car that a man didn't want one. He thought that was really funny that uh, he bought cars that he really didn't want. But every time I got rubbed too close to him, I, I was out some money and had bought something big. There were stories of people going into one lot and getting a car for such a great deal and the same day going, you know, down over to the other lot on the other side of town and selling it back to him for more than they paid for it. You see, he was, things like, he was a madman. Good title. Mm -hmm.